Hey guys, I'm back, welcome back to the channel. So as I'm sure every Bond fan knows by now, Bond 26 is a little bit of time away. So this is a video I've been wanting to make for quite a while now. These are the three main things I personally want to see in Bond 26 when it releases in like 2025 or you know, maybe probably even further away than that. Needless to say, this video contains spoilers for other Bond movies, more specifically No Time To Die, but I'm sure you probably knew that. Um, so yeah, uh, without further ado, let's begin with this video. These are the three main things that I want to see in Bond 26, and if they don't happen, um, then, you know, I, I don't really know what to say. If they don't happen, then it honestly doesn't really matter, but these are just the three main things that I want to see. Um, and, uh, yeah, also yesterday, at the time of filming this, the, uh, the re-releases of the Bond films in, uh, cinemas for the 60th anniversary, uh, concluded, at least at view, uh, with No Time To Die, which I did see, uh, I- Maybe that's the reason I'm making this video now, uh, I, I don't know, but yeah, uh, let's begin with this video. So this first one, I mean, I don't even really know why I'm including it, because they're obviously, like, going to do it. Um, They they really, you know, they, they need to reboot the series after how No Time To Die ended, because you can't have a James Bond movie without James Bond, and uh, right now, James Bond is currently dead, so... um. To bring James Bond back to life, they have to, uh, you know, reboot the series so that, you know, the, the Daniel Craig era uh, basically, you know, never happened, or at least no time that I didn't. Because, uh, you know, the Daniel Craig era was kind of an open and out kind of, uh, you know, kind of thing. Um, and, uh, the, you know, the, the Craig era itself was a reboot. So, yeah, they're going to do the, the same thing again. I really hope that afterwards, though, they don't do any more reboots. Like, I hope each new, like, Bond, uh, you know, Bond actor's tenure isn't a reboot. <laughs> Um, I really hope they, they don't just start doing that. Um, but as of right now, they have to do it because, um, yeah, James Bond, uh, isn't really alive at the moment to do another, you know, another film. So, yeah. Needless to say, they cannot continue the Craig timeline and make a Bond film. That is just, like, like, obviously. Some people actually, like, you know, wanted them to do that and focus on his daughter, but that's just, like, a rubbish idea because then it wouldn't be a Bond film, it would be a... A Matilde film. So obviously they're going to reboot it to a new timeline. I just really hope they don't do another origin story though, and uh, that leads um, on to my next uh, thing that I want to see. And that is a standalone adventure, uh, is the best way to put it. Uh, a film that doesn't start a, a whole saga with each film being interconnected, uh, like the, the, the Daniel Craig era. Um, what they did with the Daniel Craig era, with all the films being, um, you know, connected and everything, um, yeah, they, they tried that, um, I, I don't think it, uh, really failed or anything, I think it worked well enough, um, for the most part, um, but I feel like they should, I, I feel like that's kind of, uh, the only time they should do it, maybe, you know, they try something new, they're definitely gonna, you know, do new things with, uh, the, the next Bond, um, you know, in, in Bond 26, uh, but I really just hope this is, uh, similar to, the, you know, the older Bond films where each film was, um, you know, kind of standalone, uh, you know, it was its own little thing, um, with like, uh, the slightest bit of continuity, uh, between all of them, but not so much continuity where like, uh, you needed to watch the last one to understand, um, the, you know, the, the new one, unlike the films in the Craig era. I really hope they just have James Bond as an established agent. We don't need another origin story. Um, yeah, I really hope they do this with Bond 26. And as for the next Bond, I honestly don't think it's a bad idea to have a, a Bond who is maybe a little bit, you know, maybe a little bit younger. I mean, obviously they're, you know, not going to have a, someone starting out playing Bond, uh, in this next film. He's like in his fifties because Daniel Craig is 54 now, um, finishing the role. Um, but, you know, someone, I, I feel like, you know, who's in their thirties or maybe even like late twenties. I, I think, you know, they, they could do some interesting things with that, having a slightly younger and maybe, you know, less experienced Bond. I feel like there are some interesting things you could do with that. And it does open up a few doors for like, you know, character development and growth maybe. Uh, but I don't want it, want him to you know, be like a teenager or like, you know, someone you know, in like the you know, early 20s or something. That's just not something I want. This is actually something I very briefly mentioned in a video I have on the topic of the next Bond actor. Um, and uh, in that video, I did actually tease this video. I am not against the idea of a younger actor playing Bond or a younger Bond in the next film, which is a uh, topic I'll be talking about further in uh, an upcoming video, uh, which will be me discussing what I want to see in Bond 26. Yeah, that was uh, that was seven months ago. I'm sorry for such a late video, guys. Uh, but yeah, I, those are my thoughts. I, I really wouldn't mind seeing a you know slightly younger actor cast as Bond, um, but not not someone like Tom Holland. I, I really don't want a nailist ca actor uh, cast as Bond. But you know, again, you can go watch my whole video on that if you have not seen it already, um, and if you want to. So yeah, thanks for watching uh, this video. As it says on screen right now, 
Um, don't know why I always put thanks for watching in uh, on, on the end screens of uh, my of uh, videos like this. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for watching this video. If you did enjoy, please do remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you want to. Only time will tell what we actually get in Bond 26. But for now, thank you very much for watching this video, and until next time, bye bye.